Autumn has arrived. Arguably the most exciting season of the year to get out with your camera. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 tips that you can use to get the most out of your photography this season. Using a polarizing filter in the autumn can transform your images. Not only can it bring out the blues in the sky, remove glare from water and enhance rainbows, it can also bring out the colours of the trees and make them really vibrant in your images. Here's an example of me using a polarizer back in the spring months. As you can see here, the tree is quite bland without it, but when I turn the polarizer, the green vibrancy of the leaves and moss comes out. If this can happen in the spring, imagine what can happen when using it in an autumn woodland. While this can be changed in post-processing, it's often a good idea to set it in your camera when you're in the field. When shooting in the autumn, changing your white balance from automatic to cloudy or shade can bring more orange vibrancy into your images, which can further enhance the autumn colours. Getting up early is regularly advocated for landscape photography. This can be further enhanced in the autumn months though, as you're more likely to be greeted with misty conditions early in the morning, as well as flat cam reflections and beautiful early morning light. Getting up early can also increase your chances of getting morning dew, which can add more interest to your autumn landscapes. As well as getting up early, getting out on showery, changeable weather days can further increase your chances of going home with good autumnal landscape images. Some of the best autumn shots I have ever seen have been taken just after a rain shower. In these weather conditions, the trees around you are wet with the rain. Then when the sun comes out between the showers, the contrast and vibrancy that is produced when the sun hits the leaves can create amazing light and colour. You also may be lucky enough to capture your autumn scenes with a rainbow. Now that is a shot I think we'd all like to take. Autumn scenes change day by day. To make the most of this season, it is advised to get out as much as possible. Unlike other times of the year, when the seasons can be a little bit more drawn out, in autumn a scene can often be transformed overnight. Not only can it transform overnight, but the leaves can fall very quickly too, and sometimes you only have a window of a day or two to get certain images. In this season, it's really recommended to get out as many days as possible to optimise your chances of getting those amazing autumn colours. We have all seen how golden light can transform the landscape before us. During the autumn, when the leaves are already golden, imagine what coupling this with the golden light of a sunrise or sunset can do. Especially if you're shooting a lone tree or capturing images on the outskirts of the woodland. The golden hour light can really enhance the colours and bring your images to life. Each species of tree changes at slightly different times. Birch trees tend to lose their leaves quicker than oak and beech for instance. Knowing roughly when each species changes and what trees are nearby you will help you to determine whether early autumn or later autumn will be better in your nearby woodlands. Often trees on the edge of woodlands or by water change earlier than those deep within the woodland too. This can be good to be aware of when planning your shoots. Don't use this for definite, but it does give you a rough idea of when you can expect some trees 
to start changing colour. In certain conditions, shooting into the sun can work well, especially if you want trees silhouetted against the golden light or you want a sunburst to be included in your image. However, generally speaking, in the autumn months, you really want to utilise those colours. Using side light in your images can allow the colours to really shine through and showcase the beautiful scenes before you in all their glory. While overcast days tend to produce dull images in most landscape photographs, woodlands and waterfalls can be an exception. The clouds act as a natural diffuser, which can allow you to get some nice evenly exposed images during the daytime. I'm sure many of you have tried to photograph woodlands on sunny days and gone home with images including dark shadows and harsh highlights. Shooting on overcast days can prevent this and in the autumn months these days are often coupled with drizzle or haze which can allow for lovely diffusion and separation within the woodlands. Every year autumn is different. Some years we can be lucky enough to be greeted with four, five, six, seven, even eight weeks of great autumn photography opportunities. However, more often than not, autumn can be over in a heartbeat, especially if we get windy weather or storms. In these cases, woodlands can go from being stunning to bare, literally overnight. Get out there early and make the most of the season. The worst feeling as a photographer is missing it. Once the leaves are gone, they are gone. So enjoy it while it's here and don't miss the best of the colour. So there we have it. I hope some of those tips will help you get the most out of your autumn photography this season. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time. Thank you.